Okie dokie, folks, it's time for another Wheel of Warhammer. So let's go ahead and spin it and see what we get. Big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies, big money, no whammies, big money. Uh, give me something cool, give me something fun, give me something that I've never played before. Ooh, High Elves. I don't know if I've ever played them before. Even though they were a faction, I played in the Fantasy Tabletop game. So let's go ahead and check them out. Well, howdy ho there, folks. How are we doing today? Hopefully you're all doing absolutely peachy keen, fantastic, absolutely wonderful, full of love, good stuff. Delicious. Um, today we're going to be uh, playing a little bit of High Elves, as you saw. And uh, I was clicking through the different lords and trying to figure out uh, who I was interested in. I've never read a book with Tyrion in it, but I have read a book with Teclas in it. And it's kind of interesting because there, there's these guys I watch called, uh, I think it's Tom and Ben, and sometimes they put out like warmer stuff, and they were both complaining about Teclas. And I was like, I don't know. Like the only book I read where Teclas was actually a character, he didn't seem that bad, but they kept talking about him like he was as bad as Manfred von Karsten. And I, I don't know, man, that's a, that's a pretty serious accusation, don't you know? But, um, I I, uh, I was enjoying just kind of looking at these different guys, and I know the lore of Tyrion, and I've read a book with uh, Aleth in it. I think it's Aleth. The guy who's the Shadow King, basically. Um, I read a book with him in it, and he seemed okay. Not super interesting to me, though. And honestly, when I clicked on his face in here, he looked kind of silly, I thought. But, you know, hey, that's just me. Um, so playing High Elves, though, I was actually rather enjoying them. I was rather enjoying them because... Well, as I have found as I've been playing more uh, Total War Warhammer, I like factions that have a big diplomatic element. I like factions where you can actually get pretty far by just doing diplomacy. And I think you can kind of do that with most factions, really, if you do it the right way. Well, except for certain factions who are literally just destroy everything. But, you know, like I, I, I like it when it's like, okay, I can uh, build confederations with uh, with other people and i can you know do that sort of thing and i was getting along really well with a lot of the um high elves around me and there's also this thing called influence which you can use to kind of do a bunch of different stuff and you can do different rights to the various different elven gods and i thought it was pretty cool i had a small high elf farm i you're gonna find as I we go through these, I had a lot of armies. I had a small high elven army. I really enjoyed certain parts of them. I thought that they were pretty fun overall. I thought they were pretty cool. Um, I like that they always strike first. I like being able to uh, use my speed to you know benefit me and make it so that I can really. Um, try to strike first and stri try to strike accurately you know like doing precision strikes rather than just mashing although sometimes mashing just mashing is fun too um i also uh, really like a lot of high elf models the only thing i didn't like about some was that the helmets always got a little weird they always got a little bit too big but um like the lord of the seagar that they released in like i think it was island of blood i really like those honestly um I was I keep considering buying some of those and maybe painting them up and then like posting them on like community a community post for the channel. There's a couple of different miniatures I've been considering doing that with honestly. But anyway, um But I was really enjoying it. I, I think Tyrion seems like he's a pretty good leader. The only thing, the only line he kept saying that bugged me was if I used people for forced labor and I only did that to regenerate my health, they were like, Oh yeah, slaves are always useful. I'm like, damn dude, just chill i like you don't make it weird don't make it weird bro and he insisted on making it weird on several occasions um i also kind of enjoyed the way these guys played i did find that i needed to turn off skirmish mode and make sure to turn on melee mode with the lower and sea guard occasionally because people would get them close and they would just all of a sudden be like oh I don't want that, and they would run away, and it would made them kind of a lot harder to use. But then once I figured that out, because I don't think I've had another faction where that's really been a huge problem. Normally, you do want range units kind of back up and not be, you know, right there and getting stabbed. But uh, still, they ended up being pretty cool, and I ended up fighting the Drew Key a bunch. But uh, towards the end, or well, I played for like two and a half hours somewhere in there 
to try these guys out and I, I was enjoying them the whole time close towards the end of or at least when i stopped doing it because i had to do other stuff um i killed the slaneshi people and apparently safari and slanesh had made an alliance and then i ended up having to kill safari too which is i mean that's fine by me i just take the land and then now i have more high elves under my command and i was also getting to a point where uh, multiple factions wanted military alliances with me, so I had these def big defensive alliances that I was going to try and turn into confederations later on, and all this other stuff. And it was, it was going pretty good. I was um, having a good time with it. Uh, occasionally, I uh, I did one of the quests where I fought Malaketh, and that was fine. Um, and I was just kind of running around. I, I do think that they have a lot of neat little things going on. And another thing I'll say is that Ulthwan, Ulthwan is so pretty and cool, and I really enjoy it. And I uh, I really like that part of it. Like, when I play Warhammer Online, it's one of my favorite areas. It's always my favorite area to go. There's, the, like, the elf area. Well, specifically the high elf area. And then here I was like, oh, I think I, I, think I messed up, and I did the battle kind of bad. So I wanted to restart or redo something and then i kind of end up skipping around um i also just like playing good guys in general more than i like playing uh evil or um bad guys and uh i think high elves generally at least did they are very arrogant but i noticed at least in this uh, particular setting they do a pretty good job of at least making sense. Like, why are you doing that? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Whereas Eldar, half the time they're talking to you, it's like, wait, why exactly are you doing that? And it's like, yes, yeah, then he says enslave, and that's weird. But it's like, wait, why are you doing that? And then the Eldar never explained it. Like, you wouldn't be able to understand, monkey. And then I'm just like, um, okay, but I do understand. I'm not a monkey. I'm a cat. That's weird. But, um, yeah, I, I, w I was enjoying them. It was also kind of fun to just beat the living crap out of a bunch of dark, <laughs> dark elves. And just be like, hey, stop being weird and painy. I don't understand. And there was also this element, which I thought was fun. Of, of course, like every element has, every faction has their own little choices you can make and stuff like this. But this was a little, kind of more political intrigue. Which was kind of neat. I was trying to get people to be like cool with me and trying to get them to be willing to confederate with me. Which, you know. Oh, that was another thing completely unrelated. Um, that maid you just saw come back on duty. Every single time I told her to do anything, she failed. Every single time. There was not a. She did not succeed a single time. But, um. It was also pretty cool because it felt like Tyrion leveled up pretty quickly and I was able to use uh, his abilities to really kind of put the pressure on some other some other guys. And it was kind of neat as well to be able to use that to my advantage and being able to run around. There was also a lot of really fun... You know, also, this guy, the Dreadflea guy, just kind of kept showing up. I We would beat him up. He would die. He must have, like, islands or something directly south of me. I don't know. I never actually really hung out on Ulthuan. But he... Because, like, I would destroy his armies, and then there would just be, like... One guy or something left, and then we, he would be like, Aha, I'm still alive. Hey, want to have a peace treaty? Also, I rejected the Sword of Cain because I kind of know what that actually entails. That entails, um uh badness or at least if you're trying to be good guy i think sword of cain is not necessarily uh the way to go and yeah but i would say that i i had a, i was having a lot of fun with high elves and it made me kind of excited to play them more in the future i'm like okay i, I could totally see doing these guys i really like the long flowing robes and like the the fancy armor and all that I uh, think I do think it's kind of funny. I've definitely turned around on High Elves because when I first started playing Warhammer Fantasy, I was all dwarves and goblins. Uh, I had a dwarf army and a goblin army, and I had those because I bought like th 
three or four sets of Battle for Skull Pass. And then I bought more stuff to add to them later on. But like it was it was really kind of fun. But um yeah, I I really enjoyed just being a high elf and I, I'm really glad I got to try them. I think this series, The Wheel of Warhammer, is really fun because it's really showing me some of the things I like and don't like. And um it kind of makes me go, okay, so since I like high elves a lot, I can maybe focus some more on the strategies involved there, and I can do that to, uh, also, I love White Lions of Trace. They're my favorite. I They're, like, one of my favorite units. I love them. I think they look so cool. I like playing them in um, where I'm online. They're very cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I had a lot of fun. I uh, would highly encourage you guys to try out different factions that you don't play very often because sometimes you find gold. Sometimes you find uh, what was my reaction to ogres, which was eh, but you know, hey, uh, sometimes you find something really good. Anyway, uh, thank you all for stopping by, and uh, I just want you to know that I love you and God loves you, and bye-bye, I love you, bye. Have a great one.